Hey guys, hope you're doing well. So today we had roughly three articles today on coins, their importance and significance, how they're related to changing the rate, which is deleting the zeros. But then there's another layer to this that I doubt any of you remembered that is kind of this kind of the foundation or starting point for all this. Let's get into that. So what I've done, guys, is I've captured all three articles for you. Actually, four, counting the one that I was just mentioning how everybody forgot. And I want to bring that into you. So let's do this. Let me scroll down to the very bottom of this real quick because that's the most important part. Okay, so you guys remember this article right here from March 20th of this year where they're saying this that the CBI or central bank needs to is aimed at raising the dinar exchange rate here's what you guys all forgot that the reason they're saying they need to increase the dinar exchange rate to maintain the stability of the inflation that's that's actually the foundation right now for deleting the zeros and implementing lower denoms or smaller category the, the lower notes plus coins okay so I wanted to show that to you now let's go to the beginning Okay, here's the beginning right here. Let's go through everything in red. Okay, so this article is from today. Actually, it's from yesterday. It's called Directed to Rework the Coin. Okay, so when we look at the first one, it says use of metal categories and lowered, okay, meaning coins and small, small single notes for trading gives a notional value of the currency. Then they stay in the next paragraph. They're saying that discussions with officials of the central bank stress the need to rework metal currency, which was used in Iraq in previous decades instead of paper. That the paper is now damaged and printed in large quantities again, meaning they, there's too too many large quantities in circulation. Remember, we've recently found out they have 74 trillion. But we've also told you why we don't care why they have 74 trillion, because once the exchange rate changes. All that 74 trillion can only be used for investment purposes and nothing else because it's not internationally recognized and it's useless. Okay, the next one says the use of metal categories and their descent, or I'm sorry, yeah, and their descent for trading gives a notional value to the currency. He pointed out that a number of neighboring countries, their their exchange rates are very high against the dollar. Yet we find that they have a coin in order to preserve the currency and no need to ask for more papers. Cash, especially in small categories. Policy of the central bank, which does not favor the introduction of coins for circulation in the Iraqi market. So, so far, guys, in this article, what they're telling us is that what what coin what coins coins are needed when you have a higher exchange rate. Okay, such as Kuwait. Okay, and coins help reduce having a large a large amount or of lower denoms. They they don't need a large amount of small denoms in circulation because coins coins can ease that because the use for the use of coins. Okay. Let's go to the next article here. Parliamentary finance identifies a reason why coins should not be minted and advises such a move. The House of Representatives on Monday a reason to pre to prevent the minting of coins, the introduction of a proposal before minting. Okay. So let's scroll down to the next uh, red paragraph. All countries in the Middle East and the world have a coin noting that this type of currency gives strength to its economy. Okay, basically saying that that you you don't you can't use coins or have coins in circulation in your country unless you have a fair exchange rate. Okay, the concerned parties can strengthen the currency so that small groups can have purchase power in the event of the use of coins. The cost of a coin is more than paper money, and it is more difficult to carry it on the citizen. The winning of inflation in the economy prevents the sake of coins and make trading between citizens, suggesting that be no be no step to delete the zeros precede 
the process of coinage metal to be there the value of small groups versus large that statement or that little last sentence is very hard to understand what what they're basically saying there is there is no step or they're they're not going to take the step to delete the hold on here let me look at it they're not going to take the step to delete the zeros before the process of making coins okay so what they're what they're saying guys is if you noticed in that last sentence they said the winning of inflation what they're what they're saying right now is is that that they're basically saying Iraq Iraq has a little bit higher inflation they, they really don't guys but that's what they're telling you if you google their inflation it's not high at all but they're saying that be, because Iraq has a little bit higher inflation right now okay it's it there's no benefit to them to release to release coins plus you have to have a higher exchange rate with coins okay so guys and then let's get into the last one and then we'll just summarize the whole thing for you the parliamentary finance committee intends to raise the price of the dinar against the dollar and give it strength among other currencies. A member of the Parliamentary Finance Committee, okay, and the reason I showed you that, guys, is keep in mind, these all these articles are coming down from members of the Finance Committee. These articles directly themselves are not from the central bank. They're from the Finance Committee, okay, and it's, it's, it, they're, it's, an, it's, a, it's, their opinions of members of the finance committee not the central bank so keep that in mind that's why I showed you that the finance committee will work to raise the price of the dinar against the dollar and give it strength among other currencies in the Arab world or at least maintain the current exchange rate to have monetary power within local markets okay uh, me- members of the finance committee proposed to preempt the coin process by deleting the zeros from current currencies to be valuable to the small categories. The use of small metal categories and their descent for trading gives a notional value of the currency, noting that a number of neighboring countries' exchange rates are very high against the dollar, and yet we find that it has a coin in order to preserve the currency. All countries in the Middle East and the world have a coin indicating that this type of currency gives strength to its economy. He hoped that the concerned parties would could strengthen the currency so that small groups could have purchase power and use of coins. The cost of the coin is more than paper and is harder to carry on the citizen. That inflation in the economy prevents the minting of coins and makes them circulating among the citizens, suggesting that there be a step to delete the zeros preceding the coinage process to be a value for small groups. Guys, I want you to look at that last red paragraph very carefully because that summarizes this entire video for you. The inflation in the economy prevents the minting of coins and makes them circulating among citizens. Suggests there be a step to delete the zeros before the coin minting process. Okay, so guys, here's what this whole video and all these articles are telling you. They're telling you that because Iraq's inflation right now is a little bit higher, they need to delete the zeros like I showed you at the beginning of the video to curb the inflation that will allow them to mint coins when they and they will have a higher exchange rate from the deletion of the zeros to support and sustain and allow them for the minting and use of coins within their currency guys that's what this whole that's what all these articles are about so there you go guys just got it all summarized for you and there it is you guys have an amazing day